Hi, it's me. Welcome to my first not ASMR video, and this is Crooked on this channel. I, it is New Year's Eve, and I'm really out of breath because I just walked up the stairs. Hold on, let me go get my coffee. I'm currently in my aunt and uncle's house. Doing laundry because I can't do it tomorrow. Because I'm superstitious. So I'm here doing some of our laundry. I didn't do all of it. I'm just gonna wait out most of it, I think. Um, yeah. So if you have been following me for a while for my smart content, you recognize this room. Yeah, this one this is my room at my aunt and uncle's. Yeah, it's lovely. I love it here, but I can't have a dog or a boyfriend, so pick and choose, right? Um, yeah, I'm severely out of breath right now, dude. Stairs took me out. So I did laundry, as you guys saw. Um, I'm, I'm really here to wash that couple of stuff and then some towels. So. While we're waiting on our laundry to do, I figured we could plan our stuff for the New Year's. I've already started journaling, which was one of my goals for the New Year. Oh my god, I have to pee. Um, but I don't like writing that much anymore. It kind of hurts my hands because I'm crazy. So I like typing. So I decided I'm going to type out my journals instead of writing my journals. I don't really, I feel like it shouldn't matter how you do it. As long as you do it. So we're going to do it that way. I look crazy. Okay. So, um, a little day in my life. Plan for the new year with me. Vlog. So, I'm gonna go ahead and straighten up this room a little bit because, um, I had someone, someone stay in here for Christmas. That wasn't me, so. Gonna go ahead and straighten it up and just make the bed and stuff. So, yeah. Time lapse starts now. to not be here very long but if I am it's whatever <clears throat> it's really just dependent on how it takes my laundry as you guys saw I did it on speed wash but oh my god I have a crib <laughs> okay you guys get cramps let me know. Let me know in the comments. If you guys get gramps, ew. This is going to be a very real outlook on me. So you guys ever see, think I look really put together in my ASMR videos. Please know that I'm not put together whatsoever. Okay. We're on the bed. Um, anyways, so I started journaling this morning. I brought my book with me in case I get bored and I want to read it. It's the book from the red. Elena has my heart. Elena and Ash have my heart from Morbid. I literally was listening to them on my way here. So, yeah. Anyways. Um, so I started that. I also went ahead and did my 
mood boards for the year. So that's what they look like. Um, hold on. Let me turn it around. I'll get you a better look. And also, let me. So, oh, my light is still turned on. So, this is my mood board, and it's the same for my phone and my iPad. Gosh, it should have been a little bit more put together before I started this clip. Um, so, yeah, it's a little different on my iPad just because well, it looks it looks the same when it's like this. Anyways, this is what it looks like, but we're going to go over it while it's on my... There is an extra picture that's on my iPad that isn't on this, but it's fine. So I have this for waking up early, this for my wellness journal, like just journaling in general, healthy hair. I would love to get a Rottweiler 2023. Will not happen, but I'm going to put it on my mood board just in case. I like my goals board, drinking more water. This is like studying more good grades, another studying more good grades, working out the aesthetics that I'm trying to try to get and feeling more comfortable in my skin, more walks with my dog slash dog training. This is the tattoo that I'm destined to get in 2023 and then eating healthy. And then the one that's different on the iPad and phone is this one of the girl doing a hot girl walk just because I want to take more walks but I figured that was like you know interest over here so also let's see this is my journal I'm gonna do it on good notes that way it transfers to here and to my phone which I'm currently filming on but I started this morning with New Year's Eve um, what do you want need to shed or leave behind in the upcoming year this is what I wrote I hope you can pause to read that if you really want to um, actually, I don't know. I might read it to you. I want to journal more today. So I'm going to do like a brain dump and that kind of good stuff. But we'll see how if that works or not for me. But um, so this kind of got a little deep. Um, I notice when I write this kind of stuff, it turns into like this deep metaphorical stuff. So unfortunately, that's just how my brain works. And I'm not going to really look too much into that as a whole just yet. So... Um, so the prompt was, what do you need to leave or shed behind, leave, shed or leave behind for this upcoming year? I said, I have lots, I have had lots of ups and downs this year. I have found out, I have found what makes me happy and what tears me apart. I've seen friends come and go. I've tried to keep hard, tried hard to keep friendships, but the other person seems happy to get rid of me. I'm wanting to shed that part of me, the part of me where I feel like I owe the, everyone the world. I need to shed it or it will destroy me. I have to leave behind the part of me, that part of me, and enter what is known to the world as my villain error. I plan to cut out a lot of people who do not serve me, and if the pattern stays the same, they will be happy to see me go. I want to focus on me this year. I've given a lot over the past 22 years, and I feel like it's time for me to get something in return. I vow to leave behind the part of me that has been holding me back, the part of me that puts compassion over self-love, the nice part of me. Um, and I want to take that with a grain of salt. Like, obviously, I'm still going to be nice to the people around me. And I'm still going to love everyone around me. But I'm going to love myself first. So, if they don't fit me. And if they don't seem to be giving me back the same energy and vibe and love that I'm giving them. Then, they're unfortunately, going to have to see me go. Um, like I said, it got really deep. It got really dark in that. But I think it was definitely something that needed to be written. Um, that is something that I was comfortable sharing. I'm probably not going to share some other stuff that I've wanted to write. I wanted to do a brain dump and then, which I will not share because a lot of stuff that's happening up here is very personal. And then I'm also going to do healthy habits that I want to start. So, yeah. So this is going to, I'm going to try to fill up this entire first page of what I want to have for the upcoming year. So, Yeah. And then goals. So I'm going to do healthy habits. I want to start and then goals. I have set a lot of goals for myself this year mentally. And I just want to write them all down because I want to hold myself accountable this year for real this time. I do it every year and I don't ever seem to this whole. Okay. Can you guys see that like little red stuff on the top? That just scared the crap out of me. I thought it was like blood, but I forgot. This is a sugar cookie almond milk latte. So it has sprinkles in it. Um. My laundry just finished. I did a quick wash on the clothes. I'm gonna do a quick wash on the towels too because I don't really care. And it gets 
them clean it off. So I'm gonna switch that over and then I'm gonna come back to a little montage of me. Um, I probably won't film me doing the brain dump, but I will go over what I'm writing down for healthy habits and goals for the year. And then I might even go over how I made my mood boards because I feel like a lot of people don't know how to do it. Um, so yeah, I'll go over it. And I don't think, yeah, I'll go over it too. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so again, this is my mood board. I'm gonna show you how I made it. Um, I use Canva. I use Canva for a lot of things. Um, so, um, I do pay for Canva Pro. I actually just made my, my brother just got engaged and I just made their invitations yesterday too. So let's go here. Um, this is it. So what I did was I went on Pinterest and literally looked up every aesthetic that I wanted to go for there this year and then you upload it. So these are all my uploads from what I used. And then basically I just, I started out by finding the font for 2023 I wanted. I put it in the middle with the white background behind it and then I just added the photos all around it. Um, that's really it, it's pretty simple. Um, but like for instance, what I looked up was like waking up early aesthetic on Pinterest and that's where this photo came from. Um, clean girl aesthetic. I think that's where this came from. Um, but you can look up journaling aesthetic, um, healthy hair. That's what I literally looked at pictures of Rottweilers for that one, obviously. I looked up good grades and this is what these two came from, working out aesthetic. Um, then I looked up plus size aesthetic. Um, I honestly didn't think anything would pop up, but that's where these two pictures came from. It was like um, morning walks with dog aesthetic, eating healthy aesthetic, and then this is a tattoo that I've had saved for since the beginning of last year, but I'm determined to get it this year. So yeah, that's really how I made that. Um, this is the Good Notes app that you can download to your MacBooks. Um, and then it can sync up with your iPads. Let's see, I'll show you. Let me not show you my password. Um, see, there's my good notes out here. This is something I was doing the other day for them, and then it hasn't synced yet, but yep, there it is, Journal 2023, and then here it is. That's what it looks like. So I can go and read those on this year, and then I always have it with me, just in case I wanna type up anything else, but yeah. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do my brain dump, and then I'll come back in like two seconds for you guys, or one second, 30 seconds, you know, whatever, when I go over my healthy habits. I just finished my brain dump, and I cried. Um, I only brain dumped the negative things that I thought needed to be left behind, which was letters, basically. It wasn't even a brain dump, I wrote letters to two different people and to my job um so yeah um, like i said only negatives but i cried writing the ones to the two different people hi okay so there's gonna be a big jump in this video because i was editing it didn't like it so this is just gonna go and it's gonna switch completely to me reading you my healthy habits and my goals for 2023 and then explaining why they're highlighted in such sections instead of me just reading each and the thing individually and the reading to you again. So if that makes sense, I don't know if it does. Just watch it, maybe it will. All right, this is what it looks like. I'm actually gonna move these down. Hold on. That way I can make a little ledger for what the, um, highlight means up here at the top. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished. So pink is something I really want to do. Blue, I still want to do it, but it's not that important if I don't get it done. Um, I might change this one. Still want to do it. I would love to do it, but not main focus. So going over the goals and reading this again, it's try to make AV in all semesters, but do not beat yourself up if you don't maintain a 2.5 GPA average, obviously. Don't beat yourself up, don't beat yourself up. Hitting 5,000 subscribers and hitting 10,000 subscribers 
not main focus, but would love to do it. Really want to do it is upload weekly and lose 70 pounds by November 1st. Won't beat myself over it's becoming fluent in Adobe. Really need to do it is eat better, drink more water, and walk a mile daily and train tiger. And then back to still want to do it, won't beat myself up is work out twice a week, study thumping daily for an hour, and read a pleasure book every night and establish a morning and night routine. I might change the morning and night routine to really want to do it. We'll see though. And then for healthy habits, underneath really want to do it, I have limit screen time, um, waking up before or at 9 a.m. daily, walking a mile every day, and drinking two stanleys of water, and staying on top of schoolwork and staying organized. On want to do it but won't beat myself up is no phone before bed and uh, establish a good routine for daily life and journal every morning love to do it but my main focus is limiting caffeine making bed daily and body showering every night that's on there because underneath yellow because it's really just like um uh like mental thing like for me it's like more of a depression thing so we're not really gonna focus on it so yeah um let's type up my morning and night routine ideal you know somehow this clip got lost so um i'm just gonna go over my ideal morning routine my ideal evening routine and my ideal night routine so in the morning i would love to wake up at or before 9 p 9 a.m skincare and teeth care next journaling with water walk my dog coffee and breakfast if i have time for breakfast prep dinner if needed get ready with my coffee which is hair makeup outfit and overall feeling good before i walk out the door then i pack my bag grab the water and head out ideal evening routine is coming home greeting my dog walk the dog this can be my mile for the day or I can do that later at the gym um Feed my dog, finish dinner, prep dog enrichment, work out if I can, and clean the kitchen. My day night routine would be taking off my makeup, finishing any cleaning, packing lunch or snack for the next day, giving my enrichment to the dog, one last walk with my dog, shower, skincare, vitamins, water, read slash journal. Um, that is this, and then you can pause for everything. If you want to read this, screenshot it. If you have any questions or anything from it, let me know. But yeah, that's this, and then we're gonna head to the outro. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and planning this year. I really hope it goes the way I want it to, um, but I'm not setting super high expectations because I know how that can go for me. So, yeah. Um, but welcome to the first of many, hopefully not ASMR videos. We'll see how well that works out for me. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really, really enjoyed your company. And have a wonderful 2023. Bye!